Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. Please put a like and subscribe if you are new. Also go over to my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot, where you can get daily collective reading. My readings always start on the 30 minute mark. You can come in earlier if you wanna wait, chat with everyone, but they always start at the 30 minute mark, so just pop in at the 30 minute mark. The reading will begin. All right, let's get into your reading. Hey Virgo, welcome back to another episode of your um, <laughs> story. Okay, so I have a few cards here. I posted a short earlier today and I wanted to touch a little bit on that. Um, so we have, they'll be back. Expect to hear from them soon. You might be at distance, uh, physically or emotionally distant from somebody. Um, you're being asked to have patience. Just a few more months, good things come to those who wait. Let go of the situation right now, trying to control it or stressing about it. Make room for the new beginning. It's on its way to you now not it's not the right time for you and someone to be together yes they will be back and it showed up as a cancer so if you didn't see that short earlier do go check that out let's get into your reading hope you guys are doing well um now i just want to give you guys a little caveat um i have a i, I may not be available tomorrow i'm gonna try to get a reading out to you guys it is possible I may have to re-upload something else to, you know, kind of, I'll, I'll see how much time I have. Um, it's a rough week. I'm not even doing personal readings, so I'll keep you guys posted. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do just yet. Um, I may run like a, <laughs> do like a quick mini reading and then just run like a four hour stream maybe a two hour stream for you guys to just kind of be able to have your chat <laughs> that kind of thing we'll see how it goes okay so just a heads up tomorrow's kind of iffy i'll try to put something out there for you all right so anyway enough of that let's get into this what are we doing here the sword and the rose wow clarity truth revelation solidarity force honor protection and power this is good so some truthful conversation coming out Let's see what else is coming up here for you. And an engagement ring, a partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. Wow. So looks like good, honest conversation starting off here. Wow. Paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, and enjoying each other. That looks amazing. Way better than... <laughs> what you were what yesterday's energy was that must have just been a blip on the radar so yeah definitely looks like as far as your romantic life goes it looks like there's going to be some truth coming out um some of you're going to get a proposal of some sort or someone's going to be open and honest give you some clarity about how they feel tell you that um they want to protect you forever and ever and ever protect the relationship um, maybe even give you a ring, would be with you for eternity, completion, union, that kind of thing. Yeah, it looks very, you know, engagement is just pretty much a symbol of union. You know that you guys are exclusive or you want to be together. Let's take a look and see. Even that paradise card makes me feel like, I don't know, just keep getting that Van Halen song. <laughs> it's just showing my age there. But this is oneness this is enjoying each other this is just kind of like feeling like you're in paradise two people feeling like just happy like it's just paradise you know you know okay there there you go there you go okay so there's definitely going to be some someone coming in here in air energy it looks like saying this to you oh god i hope it's not yesterday's reading doesn't really look like it but somebody is definitely giving some truth that they want to be in like a long-term committed relationship okay masculine or feminine energy all right let's see or that they you might go on a date it could just it might be not it for some of you it might not be like a profession of love you could be going on a date or you could be talking to somebody new and they just tell you that they're looking for a long term, you know, looking to settle down. They're looking for a long term, like they're hoping they meet someone that they can, you know, have a long term, like committed, even possibly marriage. 
you know, live out the rest of their lives with someone, you know. So kind of take it as it resonates. It, it, for some of you, if you if you are involved in a relationship with someone, this is a situation where that conversation evolves. The truth comes out. Somebody wants to actually take it to the next level if you're involved with someone. If you're not and you're just maybe perusing, dating, whatever it might be, um, this topic comes up. This conversation comes up. You might even confess. You might even say, not confess, but you might even state that to another person yourself. You know, you're not looking for benefits you're you, you know in in that sense like friends with benefits you're not looking just you, you're, you're looking for something more steady uh, you want to go steady <laughs> you want something more stable so you feel like there this is on the table in November for sure let's see what's going on here yeah look at that it's basically like somebody's basically saying I'm single as a Pringle and I'm either single or I'm in a committed relationship. It's one or the other. And I'm going to date until it's one or the other. Yes. So somebody here is legit shopping for on purpose. <laughs> there is no casual browsing. Someone's not just simply browsing. Window shopping. Just looking to see what's out there for no reason. That's very flaky. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but... Like, what is the purpose? Uh, that's just boredom. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I think it's just boredom. I mean, it doing things with intention and with purpose is like, otherwise you spin in your wheels, right? You just spin in your wheels, you're bored. Find something to do with your life then. <laughs> Go get a hobby. <laughs> Browsing people on dating sites or just browsing or playing with people. People have feelings. They're not objects. You know, um, so I feel like whoever this person is, you're either already connecting with them or you will be in November. It's like, hey, here's the bottom line. Here's the truth. I'm either going to be single until I meet someone who's ready to match my energy or, yeah, one or the other. That's, that's their truth. That's like their truth right here. I don't see somebody here who's looking. For, this is not an energy here of just friendship. And, but I don't feel like this is someone who is looking to meet someone and just say, okay, we've been, we d we've had three dates, let's get married. This is not, this is someone who's very traditional and um, they're very honest. I don't see this, you know, they could be a Taurus also, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I don't see this person as being flaky at all in the sense of when it comes to, uh, their life they are looking uh, they are seeking long term okay yeah yeah they're pretty much <laughs> gosh I mean you're meeting someone who's pretty serious you know they have I feel like this person has this is turning into a singles reading seriously for singles but I'm going to touch on both I mean I feel like if you've been involved with this person or if you've been dating them um It may have gone on for too long and they're done with it. They don't want to just keep dating forever and ever and ever. <laughs> they want to like actually cement the situation, the relationship into something long term now. That's what I'm feeling um, because it's too much of a struggle, I guess, for this person to just be in the unknown, to be outside, to be out in the cold, to never know where we're going to get our next slice of bread. You know what I mean? <laughs> to, to struggle. Um, it can be, I guess, a little bit of a struggle for this person because they feel like, okay, we're either in or we're out. We don't like, we haven't confirmed anything here, you know? So if you're already involved with this person, that's their energy. They don't want to be, they want to like sign sealed and delivered pretty much. That's their en the energy of this person is what I'm picking up, whatever sign they are. Now, like I said, if, if when you do meet them, that is going to be their energy as well. Yeah, this might come as a shock to some of you because this is so straightforward and this is like um, this is like a unicorn. <laughs> this is a unicorn, or at least it'll feel that way to you. It's like, boom, this person just drops the bomb. And they are just completely straightforward. And it's, 
it's turned into a rarity these days, you know? Um, I think like 50 years ago, people who, 50 or 60, 70 years ago maybe, people who were just kind of goofing off and playing around was a rarity. But the tables have flipped, I mean historically. The tables have flipped and it's a rarity now to find people who actually want to be in a long-term committed type of relationship. But I see this person here or your person being um, showing up as very traditional here, which might be a shocker for you if you've been dating them and they haven't been that way before, or to meet someone who's like this. We have Scorpio energy on the table here as well. Okay, so it looks good. Show me this Hierophant. I just want to get a clarifier for the Hierophant. Oh yeah, look at that. Knight of Cups, so coming in with the romance. So remember I was talking yesterday about the Knight of Cups, like, so here's the thing, right? The Knight of Cups is basically, if you try to imagine what I was saying, like Knight of Cups is like down on the knee, make the proposal, right? That proposal only happens one time. That's the Knight of Cups and then it's done. Traditionally, someone gets down on, the, on one knee, makes the proposal, offers the ring, the, the person receiving the proposal accepts or declines. And then the proposal is over. That's the Knight of Cups, right? It's not, it's not static, it doesn't stay, it's not continuous. So this is the proposal, the marriage proposal, the engagement. This is what's happening. And this is, the, this is what is either going to be offered to you or discussed with you. Either way, in November, for sure. So somebody, whoever your person is or whoever you meet in November, it's, it's headed this way. And I know a lot of you are like, when am I going to meet somebody? When am I going to meet this person? Some of you do want this energy and this is what I feel like is happening here. This is what the direction I feel like it's going. So there you go. There is your answer. For some of you, this is someone who I said in my short earlier could be coming back around and doing this. And in that short, that was a cancer. So here we have Pisces, but I'll you know pull some cards to see. Also some, I'll roll the dice to see if anybody other, other sign shows up. Let's see what else. Show Virgo the tower card. Yeah, so that's kind of like a shocker energy right there. Like boom, wow. And I feel like in relation to the Five of Pentacles, it's kind of like saying, I can't do this anymore. I can't be out in the cold. I can't be like struggling with this anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to struggle. I need to do something about this. Okay. Celebration. Party. Reunite for some of you. Have that reunion. Come back together. For some of you, it is engagement party. It is tell everybody, tell friends, tell family, talk to the family, talk to the, the support. Somebody's telling their friends and family, seeking that support, saying, hey, you know what? This is what I'm doing. I need you guys to back me up because I'm going to go to my person and I'm going to, I'm going to do it. Now I'm finally going to do this. You know, that kind of energy as well, or going to your friends and family and saying, this is what's going to happen. You know, and this is what I'm thinking of doing, and I need your, I need your blessing, or I need your support. I'm going for it. I met somebody, or I've been dating this person, or you know that person I've been with. I'm doing it. Yeah. So this feels like a profound change. Like it's serious, not serious like negative serious. It's like a serious commitment that I see happening here. And, it, and, the, and the tower, like I said, it's coming off of this five of pentacles where it feels like someone is, whoever this person is, they're, they're well off, you know, like they're good, they're stable. They're not, I don't see this person as being like, they're not a patrillionaire, but I see them as being like pretty financially stable and steady, single. They're okay. They do all right. I don't see them poor. You know, I mean, they got enough money to make ends meet. I see that. So I don't feel like it's like a real financial struggle, even though the Five of Pentacles does presume that. I feel like it's more like, wow, they just said part of it is um, they want to help you too. 
if you have a financial struggle, they don't want you to suffer. So it's not just love. It's not just romance. It's also like, hmm, giving. It's about giving. Um, because he's, you know, the five represents uncertainty. And these sure are uncertain times. So um, they don't want to be a burden on you. You know, they want to be able to, to contribute. But it's not charity, because that would be the six of pentacles. It's not charity. It's mi casa is your casa, that kind of thing. Um, which, <laughs> that's kind of nice. Even though Virgos are just like, nope, I can do it myself. <laughs> Virgos are so independent. Um, <laughs> and I don't think this person wants to take away your independence. Definitely not. Um, but I think they want to be part of that, you know, because they do see that is the Virgo card. So I feel like they do see that you, they know that, listen, Virgo, they know that you can take care of business. They do know that. Okay. So that's not really an issue here. Yeah. So this person, all right, we've got Aquarius energy. Wow. That's amazing. So I feel like this person is seriously, this person new coming in or your person is freeing themselves up for sure. They're taking this risk here. They're no longer restless. Like, I don't know if they were restless before healing from some kind of heartbeat, heartbreak. They, they might've had some kind of pain of some sort. They're definitely recovered. They're on this adventure. You know, they've been solo for sure, but I feel like I feel like they want somewhere to lay their, their lay their head. They want to like lay their head on your pillow, and they just. Want to <laughs> There's definitely travel here, so I don't know if you guys are at a distance, which was in my short. They may want to um, come see you and um, lay together, or some R and R. It could be some holiday stuff as well. Some R and R, rest and relaxation for the holidays. Spend some time together. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like you're going to get a lot of communication from this person in regards to their their uh, long-term commitment plans. Definitely, they're going to talk to you about all this, the things that they want, what they want from this relationship. This is Cupid's arrows. I mean, this person is definitely like they got it for you. Cupid's arrows for sure. Love bomb, love bomb, love bomb, but not in a negative way. You know, I mean, there's going to be a lot of travel talk about a lot of travel. Um, not, they're not going to give up on that. I feel like they, they're they bringing some... The good news, they think it's good news <laughs> to bring this to you. So if you've been dating this person, it may, might be something you've wanted to hear. So they're excited about this to tell you. You know, um, I feel like they think you're going to receive it well. Let's see how you're going to receive this. How's Virgo going to receive this message from this person when they tell them, when they tell Virgo that they want something sustainable, long-term, committed marriage, that kind of thing? Wow. Virgo's like, that's right, because I'm worth it. Maybe it's Maybelline. Virgo's like, I am worth that. Look at me. I'm the Empress. And the Empress, not so much in the feminine, but does represent um, a new beginnings, high value, worth. Um, beauty, nurturing children. She represents um, all that is gracious. She represents Mother Earth. She represents love. Yeah, she also represents progress. She represents victory. Virgo, I feel like you will take it well because you, you, something about a lifestyle change, I feel like this is something you've been wanting, but also feel like, like Melly says, the bees go to the rose. So I feel like you have, this is something that you've been, maybe something you've been wanting, but I feel like you're going to take it well. Um, and as I always say, <laughs> It's the sperm that chases the egg, right? <laughs> Don't even get on it, you guys, because it's true. That's a scientific fact. I mean, the egg does roll down and position herself a bit, but 
I mean, am I wrong? If I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure the egg doesn't go chasing after the sperm. So anyway, yeah. So I feel like you're gonna take this well. And yes, I am talking to the females here, okay? And for the Virgo males, um, it's a little bit of a different story, I think, because of the, oh, I'm just not going to get into all that. Like, I, I really, like, th there is a difference, I have to say. And I don't mean anything negative to the males here. I don't. I know you guys have your struggles as well. But I do feel like, um, I know some guys don't want to do all the pursuing I understand that and you might be more comfortable with females who pursue and I feel like they're out there um, just got to find them you know um, but I, I'm not so sure I, I don't really think Virgo females are really pursuers and that's why I got to speak mostly to to the Virgo females because they're not really pursuers not generally not not by nature they're hermits that's why hermit represents Virgo so okay so yeah, I feel like you're going to take it well. I feel like you're going to be pretty um, settled with it, with someone coming in and, and saying they're going to do this or they want to do that for you. Yeah, and um, because you're pretty much like, you know what, it's fine. And that is what I would like if this is someone new. And if you already are involved with this person, um, yeah, I feel like your energy is like, yeah, let's go. Let's go manifest this thing. Let's, ta let's take that journey. Let's make it happen, you know, if you've already been with this person. I mean, I have to be honest, like, all for love. Yeah, the journey's for love, for sure. And yeah, if this is someone that, you know, you've known for a while or someone that's coming back around from your past, I mean, you have a good, sincere heart, Virgo, you know, um, I feel like you're open and willing to have that connection with this person if they're coming in correct. You know what I mean? Um, and I'm not talking to those of you who've been in abusive relationships because that's a different story. Okay? And that's that's abnormal. Like, let's, let's make that clear. And it's a shame that that's become the norm because we can't have conversations anymore about relationships, it seems like, because everybody's out here being abused. That is the abnormal. That is not the norm. And I feel like we need to get make that, that clear distinction. Abusive relationships are the abnormal. And it is not common. Let's make that clear. There are people, there are selfish people in this world. Absolutely. And there are sometimes people who are a little sensitive to things. But you have to be able to draw the line between what is people who are seriously abusive. Seriously. And then people who are just being a jerk for the day. You know, because we all got jerk tendencies, right? And so when we're getting into like deep deep readings about severe psychopathic stuff i mean these are the few and far between they're out there but they just are shown so much because of sensationalism they're blown out of proportion those are the abnormal types of relationships you know they're selfish people and sometimes most of the time the real issue is that people are just not compatible and it doesn't make people bad it just makes them not compatible. And so let's draw the line there and just say, yep, we didn't work out. See you later. All's well. Good luck with your next relationship. And let's move on and not, you know, hold grudges against everybody. Let's try to all live happy. That's my, that's my thing. And not everybody's going to agree with me, but I think at some point we, we got to like move on. Okay. So if you've been in some kind of relationship with you guys, just whatever, it didn't work out or something happened and, you know, whatever reason sometimes people just move away sometimes life issues happen and people aren't able to maintain a relationship for whatever reason and somebody here you got like i said somebody's coming back around i think you you might you know take them back and try to be able to well maybe circumstances are different sometimes people split up when they're in like their teens or when they're in their 20s they go off and then they you know build families and then they that doesn't work out and then they wind up coming back together in their 50s <laughs> it happens sometimes life interferes 
yeah so it looks good i feel like there is definitely commitment on the table whether it's somebody new or somebody that you've been dating who's ready to go to the next level or like i said even somebody from your past just now showing up here that you you're willing to like yeah let's let's go on this journey i feel like you've got a real practical mindset about this here i don't see you gushing with love <laughs> i feel like you're like with the eight of cups there you know hey i'm willing to take that ride i'm willing to see what we can make out of this what we can build what we can cultivate together yeah i think it looks good yeah Let's see where the road takes us you know we're, we're at the beginning here at the crossroads let's see where we can go should we go left should we go right should we go forward let's not go back let's just keep moving you know are we going to make lateral moves can we go forward? let's explore the world let's see where we can take this like i like that attitude because it makes you it, it seems like you're open-minded to this whole scenario which is good i think it's good oh, being open-minded i mean of course you don't want to be so open-minded that your brains fall out you got to have your convictions but it looks like you are open-minded enough to give something a chance and that's the best you can do right let's get your chinese signs here let's see what the chinese signs are for you you could be born year of the rooster you are your person year of the tiger oh double rooster again Year of the Dragon, Year of the Pig, Year of the Ox, Year of the Dog, Year of the Rat, Year of the Snake. Okay, so if the sign that you are familiar with didn't show up, it doesn't mean it's not for you. And it doesn't mean it's not like it's not your reading. So just take a fits, leave the rest. Let me just get a couple of messages of love here. Okay. Oh, someone here is a. Someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts. Okay. There's a little obsession going on here. All right. I don't know what that has to do with you or. It, or it's this person well there is the four of pentacles so it could be connected here someone could be obsessed with settling down at this point in their life it doesn't have to be obsessed with you it's obsessive thoughts so it could be someone is just really at this point now we're like i'm just either gonna like i said it's black and white so there might be a little bit of some black and white energy happening here like i'm either going to be settled with someone in my life um or i'm just gonna be single uh, yeah i feel like that's the message i don't feel like someone here is wanting to just play around and date casually somebody's done and it could be you or it could be this person one or the other or not could be it is it's either you or this person or both of you this person is unable to give you all you deserve whoo But this relationship deserves a second chance. So it might be worth exploring to see if that's true or not. Yeah, Virgo. So maybe they're not. Maybe maybe this is someone that you've had something with before. It looks like they want to have this, but hmm. Looks like it's um worth finding that out. You've done the work, abundance flows to you now. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. Okay. So when second chance comes up and it says this relationship deserves a second chance, that's still just advice and that doesn't mean you got to do it. Remember, like I always say on my readings, like that could just be also that person saying, give me another chance. It doesn't mean, um, for those of you who have been involved with this person before, um, that that's, you have to make the decision, right? So you go through the motion, you got to find out, okay? If you feel like you want to give it another try, give it another try. It doesn't mean that they'll be unavailable. You might feel like, because they were before, that they might be again, but you gotta find that out. Um, things might be different, you don't know. And if you meet somebody new, you might have a fear that you're gonna get involved with someone who's unavailable. <laughs> Even if they say, no, I'm ready to settle down. You still have to explore it, okay. That's what I feel like that card means. I'm not trying to preach here. I just feel like that's what that card means. All right, let's get some 
charms and some other things going on here. Okay, we have the letter K. We have September 22nd, 1979. We have a Q. The letter V is here again. The letter B as in boy. Well, two Qs, QQ, like a cutie. We have cutie. I just heard, even though QQ doesn't really mean that. We have cutie. Somebody might be 22 also. Um, and you also have the ship's wheel. Okay. So I've got a wheel turning here, you guys. Captain's wheel. I guess that's what it's called. So the wheel is turning. Wheel in the sky keeps on turning. Yeah, so there's definitely a shift, a change that's happening now in November. I don't know if you guys have felt the shift and the change, but it is occurring. So do keep your eyes on that. Um, or just feel it, the energy. You can feel the shift is starting to happen. And it, it don't even feel like it's just a singular shift. I feel like it's, it's a global shift changes upon us um, but you might feel it down on a more personal level as well in all areas of your life you might be able to pinpoint it certain things are just kind of I don't know it feels like like a wave a very subtle wave though yes it's just a very subtle wave things are just seemingly a little different um so this captain's wheel this could have something to like it could resonate for you in some way maybe somebody you know has a boat or is a captain of a ship um or you uh, there, there's a connection maybe to a boat we do have paradise here so somebody might sail somewhere where there's you know very tropical areas does a lot of sailing tropical areas um, might have a, a boat named paradise or live in an area that's named paradise pronoun noun name of a place yes 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 yeah captain's wheel I'm just hearing Captain Kirk <laughs> wasn't that what was that Star Trek Captain Kirk or maybe somebody's name is Kirk uh, that's so strange the voyage a voyager voyage somebody's on a voyage okay so I'm gonna leave that there it's very interesting I used to love Star Trek. That was my mother had like such a huge crush on William Shatner. Oh my gosh, in his in his prime, of course, in his prime. She used to my mother. She was such a fanboy. Oh my gosh, William Shatner. His prime was pretty good looking. <laughs> and we're done with this reading. All right, you guys. So yeah, thanks for being here. Like I said, I'm gonna try to figure out something to leave you guys with. Um, November eighth. Um, as I will probably, I, I won't be live. Um, I'll figure something out. If I do wind up being here, like, I don't know, I'll figure something out. This, the rest of this week is going to be tough, but tomorrow's Wednesday. I'll try to get something put together for you guys. And yeah, that's pretty much going to be it. Um, I will, I'll see you back here very soon. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you everyone donating to the child rescue, uh, website fundraiser that I have I always have to say thank you so much I'm very grateful to you for doing that it means like just very it's very heartwarming it touches my heart when you guys donate to that fund that just more than anything I don't even care about the coffee when you guys donate there that's just like that's a thousand coffees to my soul I love it but thank you also for donating to buying me a cup of coffee thank you thank you and uh yeah I'll see you guys all back here hopefully tomorrow and uh yeah have a good one take care bye Shut